Starlight Vega, it's been a while. I, I, you'll probably, by this time out, you'll probably know why, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, let's continue. Where we last left off is we, the, well, I completely forgot her name. The demon woman, um. Crap. I actually can't remember. It's been a while. Anyway, I'm supposed to be, anyway, let's keep reading. I'm supposed to be helping Melody find books, but I don't even know where to start. What am I looking for again? Any books on runes, magics, demons, something I could use. It would help if the bindings were in English. Ha. Huh. You know, I thought you'd be more excited to meet someone from another world. Well, I didn't ex really expect them to be like her. Anyway, you don't actually believe her, do you? Huh? All that stuff about not being able to remember? I guess I do. I mean, you think a demon would be less of an airhead? Evil doesn't always take the most obvious forms. She must have been trapped in that stone for a reason, Arya. A bad reason. I stop. Is she right? It's easy to get caught up in Lyria's. That's her name. Lyria's friendliness and compliments, but she does seem dangerous. Uh, okay, she, she might actually be... Well... I don't know. She seems... I... Well, for the time being, I have to agree. Yeah, I definitely need to keep my guard up. We have no idea what we're dealing with, after all. <clears throat> that's right. Th that's right. It's important to be cautious in times like these. People have, people have end up possessed, or worse. How would you know? This is your first demon! Yoo-hoo! Up, speak of the devil. Okay, I Pun not intended. I swear to God, pun not intended there. Lyria le leaps through the broken window despite it being on the second floor. I missed you so much! Whoa! I duck out of her hug. She pouts. You were gone barely 20 minutes. Well, I can't go far without the lifestone. Besides, didn't you miss me? Uh, where did you go anyways? Secret... Hey, Run, did you find anything yet? My name is Melody. Ooh, I have your name. Now I can control your mind. Kidding, you believed me for a second there, didn't ya? Hmm. I haven't been able to find anything yet. It's so jumbled and disorganized. I'm amazed you could find anything in this. Well, I do have some basic understanding of the runes, and there are several parts in English, but whoever wrote them isn't making it easy. Wait a minute. Do you think my grandfather wrote this book? I'm not sure it had any... I'm not sure it had any one single author. Looks like it was at least several centuries old, and there are large changes in the handwriting throughout. She flips to the middle of the book. These parts are disturbing. The handwriting is scratchy and crackled, and the pages have illustrations of scabbed flesh masses. She then flips again to the end, which is in English. Was my grandfather the one who trapped you, Lyria? Could be, if he was a powerful enough sorcerer. Grandpa? A sorcerer? Well, unless you follow the other crazy things going on, this doesn't seem so far-fetched. Lyria, do you know this language? Hmm? The words are... shifting. Lyria reaches her hands toward the page. Ah, stupid book! Ow, ow, ow. Was that? It was the same light as last night. <laughs> the life stone means a shared bond. If one of us feels pain, the other will too. Master! I found you! What the heck? A blur of yellow zips in through the window, flying straight into Lyria. Is it's a yellow unicorn rat? About time you got here. I looked for you for so long. Ages, decades. I thought you were dead. But then I felt your life force. I got trapped in a stone. What? Another demon? My name is Sid, and I'm a wyvern. Oh, cool. Wyverns are actually pretty cool. Not as cool as dragons, but they're like second best there. Yeah, and a useless one. You really couldn't find me for 50 years? You've got some nerve showing up in front of me. Master, no! 
<laughs> oh! She snaps at him with a lightning whip. When I move away, the self-proclaimed wyvern attaches to my back. Yeah! Master, this human, it has your life stone. Don't tell me what I already know, you incident little... And no whipping! You've got some nerve, human, claiming her life stone like that. <laughs> Sorry, master. Aha! Aha! Everyone in turn is look over at Melody, who is still peering over the book. She's either, a, she's either oblivious to the current situation or more motivated than ever to find something. I found what looks like to be a st the stone spell, or at least it has a picture drawn here. Sure enough, it's in the section with the creepy handwriting. Lyria, is this a language you know? Hmm. She peers over the reed from halfway across the room. Don't be such a baby, master. What is this? The words are distorting when I look at them. Powerful magic, for sure. It looks like it looks to have no effect on the humans. That seems awfully convenient. You got something to say, bug girl? Girl. Master, how can you tell these humans apart? They don't even have horns. They're just so freaky looking. What? You guys are from the demon realm. How can you say we're f the freaky looking ones? What makes us demons anyway? You humans are just as bad. Poverty, hunger, wars fought amongst yourselves, eradicating anyone who doesn't fit in your world. We used to live in a peace with you. We used to live in peace with you until you drove us out. Yes, the Catholic Church sought us to turn unholiness into a stigma. More and more, the overactive imaginations of humans turned to supernatural being into dark ones, teaching their children terrifying legends and falsehoods until the last of, last of us were driven out. I have no idea what any of you are talking about. Stop boring me with your drive drivel. Larry grabbed my arm, pressing it to me. Let's quit all this book nonsense. Hmm? So boring. Yeah? Master, you should... Should you really be consult consorting with the human looks like humans like this? I don't think she would approve. You've got some nerve. Who are you guys talking about? No one, Arya. Let's get out of this stuffy room. We're clearly not getting anywhere with this reading nonsense. That's not fair. I'm doing the best I can. Girls, it's time for breakfast. Wow, Master, the glamour you have on this human un this human under is pretty strong. S sorry looking. If you want, I can cook up a way better spell. That reminds me, you can't seriously keep manipulating my mom like that. You also need to start treating Melody better if you're gonna be if I'm gonna be stuck with you. Stuck with me? Arya, I'm hurt! I would never do anything to hurt her. After all, Arya's is Arya's mother is my mother at this point in the relationship. I want you to take the glamour off. What? She passed out flat at the sight of me before. At least with this, she's cooperative. No way. Until we figure out what we're going to do with you guys, you can't be using magic on people like that. I don't know if I can explain this to my mom, or anyone really, but we can't keep, keep her like this, right? I really don't think it's wise. One, you can, won't you reconsider, Arya? Here in this world, you can't boss people around whenever you feel like it. It's unethical. Yeah, unethical! I will follow Arya's wishes and release the glamour. She mutters something in a weird language and snaps her finger. I hope this works. Uh-oh, the music died down. <whistles> Mommy! Mom? Mom! Mom! Mommy! 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 Hello? Okay, she fainted. She fainted! See? This was the best course of action. I tried to be civil at first, at first of course. Yeah, right. She will simply see me as a guest of this house. Nothing more. It's less harmful than falling on the floor. I'm going to have to lay down after some serious ground rules for our guests later. We spent all day researching in the study. 
melody is engrossed with the book and usually chatting demon girl is resting on the window so quietly. This is going slower than I'd hope. We haven't found anything useful all day. <sighs> yeah, there really wasn't much in the study. Well, nothing in languages we could actually read. <sighs> well, I don't want to give up, give up just yet, though. If we can just translate the book. I could help you. Huh, you would? Yes, I can't look at the text directly, but you could write what it says elsewhere and I'd do my best to translate. Thank you, Sid. That would be so helpful. Thank you? Helpful? No one's ever said that to me. Being the familiar of an idiot is so hard. <laughs> this got sweet to funny so fast. <sighs> I'm tired. Weird, since I spent about 50 years sleeping in a stone. See you later, Arya. Wait, where are you going? To my room. Are you talking about the study? You're staying, you're staying here? Hmm? Why? Did you want me to sleep with you? No. No. Alright then. Good night. As if moving to this rickety old house wasn't enough, I'm now stuck for an intermediate amount of time with the demon girl who wants to jump me. If any of you can see that, but I'm like adjusting my head and I can actually see the face. I'll like turn up brightness or something for the video so you can see it too. Even though this is supposed to be like cloaked in shadows, we might as well see the face. Huh? So you found it? Yes, with some minor setbacks. I'd hardly call 50 years a minor setback. At the very least, we seem to have found a suitable vessel. I'm grown tired of dealing with you. You'll bring me the vessel. You'll bring the vessel to me at once. It's proving to be a little more complicated than expected. Please understand, these things take time. You've had plenty of time. Fifty precious years. Wasted by your incompetence and failure. I haven't failed. Please, all I need is one more chance. Rest assured, everything is in place. See that it is. This will be your final warning. Wait. Okay, I thought she was waking up screaming or something. I'm not sure what to make of that dream last night. Oh, wait, is that... Okay, so she was dreaming that. I thought that was just what happened to be going on somewhere. Oh, she... Okay, she, so she now has magical dream powers, kind of like Percy Jackson. All right. Even though I can't remember what it was about, it felt disturbingly real. Oh. Oh, you're up early. I was just about to wake you up, but you beat me to it. Hey, Mom, was Grandpa ever into anything weird? What? You know, stuff you couldn't explain? Anything bizarre, weird, out of this world? Why would you ask that? Because there's a crazy red-haired demon girl living up in the study. Your grandpa, he... When your grandmother died, he got a little... unhinged. You never talk about grandma. That's because I don't remember much about her. She disappeared when I was a young girl. Okay, making prediction now. Her mother was a de... Gra grandma is a demon. Probably from Vega or whatever. Wait, disappeared? Yeah. I... Yes, they never found her body. Yep, definitely a demon. After that, I was sent to live elsewhere, away from your grandfather. Well, no need to worry about this stuff, Arya. We'll make this into a lovely home soon enough. Weird. Mom seems to be avoiding the question. Then again, she never really talked about Grandpa much before, either. Speaking of which, young lady, you and Melody have school today. Oh my god, are we taking the demon to school with us? You're really sending me to school? Well, I promised Medley's mother she wouldn't miss any school when she stayed over. Plus, I thought you wouldn't want to stay here with the electricity off. And with Lyria. She's going with you! You're right. I'll go. That's a good girl. Go wake up Melody and I'll try to make us uh, some breakfast. We're going to have a long ride if we want to drive to school. 
School? I jumped back. Lyria was barely three inches away. Uh, they don't have schools in Vega? No. What is it? Oh, whoops. Hold on if I can... Okay, hold on. Uh. Okay. It's a place that you go during the day to learn, though it feels kind of like a prison sometimes. A prison of learning? How ingenious! Um, it's not actually a prison. Why didn't I think of that? On Vega, we are usually tutored privately, if your family can afford if your family can afford such a thing. Most youths receive education from their parents, if they have them. Throwing them all into a prison of knowledge would be an excellent idea. She looks dead serious. What kind of weird place is she from? Then it dawns on me. This is the first thing she said about Vega. Huh. What's Vega like? Society. It is difficult to explain. It's not entirely different from here, but the rules that govern you are a lot different. Caste is different. That? Okay, that's vague. Should I try asking you a more direct question? Did you have anything you wanted to know? Your weird mind control ability is. It's not really mind control, it's a glamour. I can suggest things to people and alter their memories for a short time, but actually getting someone to do something for me is exhausting. I see. Yeah, I guess it would be. Not that I'd really know anything about controlling someone's mind. So that's a pretty strange ability. If she used those powers for evil, she could do a lot, like, she could do a lot, like world domination. Or something. How many people can you control? very many. I may be able to do a simple illusion with my look, such as appearing without horns. My specialty is destruction magic. Sid takes care of all this, that slimy magic type. What about Sid? What are his powers? He's the opposite of me. I know destruction magic, and he's got illusion. Actually, the familiar, the familiar is, supposed to do, is supposed to have the same magic as its owner. He turned out to be a real failure. How do you get a familiar anyway? summon it. I had no interest in, the, in those classes or having a familiar. It was mostly... mostly... <sighs> never mind. That's probably why Sid turned out so weak in any case. I've been thinking, until I get my powers back, I should live here with you. I don't know a whole lot about the human realm. I'd like somewhere to stay. Well, it's not like you can go far, and I really... F and I feel really bad if you slept outside. Wonderful! I'm so happy to be attached to such a thoughtful human. I dodge your grasp. But you really don't need to worry about me like that. Right. So, what's happening at this school today? I kind of have to go every day. What? Why? For school, I used to play some institutionalized conformity. You sure, you sure seem to know a lot about our world. That's right! I defend for myself out there. You humans are so cold. Good morning, Arya. And Lyria. You ready for school this early? Hehe. <laughs> Something smells great. It's almost finished cooking. Ly Lyria helped me. Um, she did. She's so sensible. I'm really glad. Our guest is here. Ugh. Let's eat before it gets cold.
be able to look for a way to separate you faster, and I'm curious about what else the book holds as well. Sure. Urgh, you're giving her the book? <laughs> well then, take care, my lovelies. Right. Mom drops with us at the bus stop after a very long drive. The property we inherited from Grandpa was huge and mostly covered with old trees. The woods even seemed a little scary at times, as if they were creating a natural barrier to the outside world. Well, I have plenty of time to get used to them. This will be the drive almost daily from now on. I hope this is will I hope this will be all right. She opens her bag to reveal Grandpa's book, which we ha which had wrapped in thick parcel paper. It'll probably be fine. Are you sure you're going to be okay lugging that heavy thing around everywhere? Yes. In fact, I'm more worried about my mom snooping through my room again. Are you sure you can't stay one more night? I'm sorry. I had a hard time convincing my mom as it is. So, it's be nice to get away from Lyria. Oh, okay. What? No. No way. You're not coming to school. How did you even get here? Why not? And I can't be that far from you, remember? No way. No way, no way, no way. <laughs> well, whatever. I didn't really want to come. It's hard to keep up a clamor on a group of people anyways. Lazy Master never studied conjuration magic. Obviously, since I had gotten a better familiar than you. I still don't get why you have to leave, Arya. I'm going to be so lonely without you. Just stay out of sight, okay? I don't need getting captured. I don't need you getting captured by some weirdos. You're worried about me? I might be vulnerable and weak, but I'll do my best. Vulnerable and weak? Yeah, right. So the thought of her getting captured was pretty scary in its own. I'll stay out of sight, so don't worry. I see a flicker and suddenly Lyria is gone. All she does is make me worry. <clears throat> Alright, we've been recording for a while, so how about we end it off there? Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, my lovely Starbites, go ahead and... Go ahead and stab that subscribe button. Check out some of our other videos. It's almost our two-year anniversary, so we're gonna be... So on the day of our two-year anniversary, we're gonna be having a very special video. Anyway, see you next time.